If you like our video, click the button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides, visit us at www.teachucomp.com. Co-authoring a Word document in Word for Microsoft 365 lets you quickly share and collaborate simultaneously on a document with others. To share a document in Word for Microsoft 365, open the document to share. Then click the Share button in the upper right corner of the ribbon to show a drop-down menu of sharing choices. Then select your desired sharing choice from the drop-down menu. To share with people you select, choose the Share command to open a Share pane. If you haven't yet saved the document online, then this pane lists the connected online OneDrive and SharePoint sites to which you can save the file. Click the desired choice to upload a copy of the document to that site. If needed, then type a name for the file into the document name pane that appears, and then click OK. After saving the document to an online location, then use the Share pane to choose the users to invite to co-author the document. The sharing settings for the document default to the sharing settings for the selected save location configured by your Microsoft 365 administrator. To change the sharing settings, if available, click the Link Settings button in the Share pane to show the Link Settings pane. Then click the Option button for the users with whom to share the link, if available. Possible choices include anyone, people in your organization's name, people with existing access, or people you choose. To choose whether to allow editing access for most choices, click the Can Edit drop-down in the More Settings section of the pane and select Can Edit, Can Review, Can View, or Can't Download. You must allow editing access to let users co-author the document with you. Otherwise, they can only view and or suggest changes to the file. After changing your link settings, click the Apply button to continue and return to the main Share pane again. Then, start typing the users or groups' names or email addresses with whom to share the document into the Add a Name, Group, or Email field. Then select the names from the drop-down that appears to add them to the list. Continue doing this until you have added all the users with whom to share the document. To enter an optional message within the email, type it into the Add a Message field. To then email the invitations, click the Invite button in the Share pane. Then click the X button in the upper right corner of the confirmation message box that appears to tell you the email is sent. Alternatively, to instead copy a sharing link to send to other users in emails or other kinds of messaging apps instead of sending an email, click the Copy Link button at the bottom of the Share pane. Then send the link to the recipients using whichever application you want. Alternatively, to send the link via your desktop Outlook application if available, Click the Choose Another App to Share the Link In button in the Share pane and select the Send Link in Outlook command. Your desktop version of Outlook then opens and creates an email with the link you can send to the recipients. Alternatively, to send a non-collaborative copy of the document as a Word document or PDF attachment via Outlook, click the Choose Another App to Share the Link In button in the Share pane roll over the Send a Copy command, and then select either Word document or PDF from the side menu that appears. Your desktop version of Outlook then opens and attaches a copy of the shared document to an email using the file type you selected. You can then send this to the recipients as usual. Note that this is not a shared document, however, and they are simply being sent a copy of the document. To close the Share pane when finished, click the X button in its upper right corner. 
After saving a document to a shared location, you can also click the Share button and choose one of the other commands that appears to copy a shared document link or manage sharing access to. To copy a document link, select the Copy Link command. To stop sharing a document or change its sharing settings, click the Share button at the right end of the ribbon and select the Manage Access command to open the Manage Access pane. To stop all sharing of the document, click the Stop Sharing link and then click the Stop Sharing button in the confirmation dialog box that opens. To instead share with more users, Click the Share link, and then repeat the sharing process again in the Share pane that opens. To view the People, Groups, and Sharing links for the document, click the People, Groups, or Links tab in the Manage Access pane as needed. To remove individual sharing links or remove individuals from using a sharing link if you granted access to specific people, click the Links tab. To delete a sharing link, click the Remove Link button to the right of the link to remove, and then click the Remove button in the confirmation dialog box to delete it. Alternatively, to change the sharing access for or delete a specific user or group to whom you gave direct sharing access in Word. Click the People tab or Groups tab, respectively. The names of the people or groups with direct sharing access to the document appear in a list on this tab. Click the name of the person or group whose sharing access you want to change or remove to then show their sharing settings in this pane. To change their direct sharing access, click the Direct Access section to expand it and show a Sharing Settings dropdown. To change their sharing setting, use this dropdown to select a new setting and then click the Apply button that appears. To instead remove their direct access, select the Remove Direct Access choice from the dropdown menu. Then confirm their removal by clicking the Remove button in the Confirmation dialog box. Optionally, to save a local copy of a shared document to your computer after you finish co authoring it, click the File tab in the ribbon. Then select the Save a Copy command from the left side of the Backstage view to save a local copy in the area to the right. After confirming you saved the copy, you can then safely delete the shared file from its online location if needed. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. See our full suite of courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides at www.teachucomp.com.